What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I decided to remake the video that uh, YouTube took out for no reason on uh, YouTube. This is my personal information, so uh, don't, please don't take this video out. Um, uh, let's check it out. I want to talk about Score Terminal and the benefit of using Score Terminal with VIP. It's a huge benefit. Um, this is how it looks like. I mean, the picture is behind me. And uh, basically, it is it is wireless. Um, you can move it around, but you need to plug it into the charger uh, all the time to keep charging. But when you need to move it around, uh, you can move it around. And we're going to see how this works with VIP uh, checking out. It's going to be like just checking out at Best Buy, which is really cool. You don't have to enter anything. There is no buttons. So it's really cool. So let's see how that works. Um, we're going to create an estimate real quick. And uh, we're going to create um, just an old change right here. Click on authorize, authorize. And then when we click on pay invoice, I mean, you have ca cash and check. But when we click on the card, we have the option to charge the customer the credit card fee. And this time I'll definitely do that. Just click charge fee. And what happened when you click charge fee, basically a VIP will send uh, we will send uh, we'll send it automatically to the terminal the terminal light up with the amount the customer at this moment can use his card or he can use his own phone I'm gonna use the phone itself and it's gonna go like this and if you notice um, uh, he can ask you can have the receipt printed but no need because everything is it will be printed on VIP invoice so we're gonna look at this see how that works if you we scroll away at the bottom it says payment 3623 and it was paid by visa and it's the last four digit and this is the authorization code so you're all set as simple as that all right so now let's look at the text to pay see how that work all right so we're going to create another estimate i'm trying to make the video less uh, minutes as possible we're going to do all change again authorize authorize when you authorize it basically you you're making an estimate an invoice pay invoice and now you have more options right here what's more options again you can charge the fee charge the fee and then text to pay if you click on text to pay what happens basically vip will create a message and that message will include two links the link first link is the invoice itself and the second link is the link to pay the invoice so we're going to click on send right here and I link I, I link my phone so we're gonna see how that work. All right, we got a message right there. I'm gonna open the message and see there's two links. Hi Mark, please review and pay your invoice by click on the links below. We're gonna click on the first link. And if we double click, we can see the amount and double click zoom out. That's what I like about uh, iPhone. I think they all can do it now, but you can review the invoice first. And go back to messages and this is the link where you can pay using a square checkout and we're gonna demonstrate this whole thing see how that works so this is the invoice number right there we have Apple pay and Google pay and let's say I want to pay you with Apple pay and uh, we're gonna just see how that works so double click and uh, see how that works i've never done that so i'm kind of excited so it's going to bring it there you go so that's the customer sees thanks for choosing via your shop and uh, you you paid this amount and let's move this aside and see what happens on the vip side so which is cool i mean it takes usually up to 50 seconds to update your bra uh, VIP you can always check on the status but you don't need to you don't need to be on this page anyway even if you're uh, doing something else it's supposed to update automatically so um, uh, we'll see how this works in a second and uh, another thing I want to talk about is you will get two notifications you'll get an email notification and you get the notification from uh, VIP and this is how it what's the notification basically you see that uh, remote payment has been paid and it's ready basically it switches to close invoice and all you have to do is click clo close invoice at this moment you can click on print and text it back to the customer which is pretty cool so the customer know that you get the invoice so if I click on send again you're not typing anything 
uh, you're not doing anything basically everything is automated we're gonna come back here and we got a new message if I click on it customer can print it can do whatever you want and it's gonna say paid balance due is zero zero so so this is text to pay again another cool feature if you don't have uh, if you don't have the square terminal and you're using your bank you still can use text to pay yes but you got to create an account with square uh, all the information is up top square terminal uh, start a square account so you can use text to pay without using the, the square terminal if needed but I definitely recommend using square terminal and charge the customer the fee and because uh, it makes you like so professional like if I'm if I own my shop right now I definitely I use score terminal my former shop right now uses score terminal and they've been using it for a year because it's less headache i typed i'm telling you i typed extra zero so many times because you're so busy and you are or less zero when you know you got to do a refund and all this i uh, remember with score terminal you have a, a virtual account so you can see all these transactions i'm gonna log into my square my square dashboard sign in hopefully YouTube won't freak out again and this one. I mean if we don't show these steps you're not gonna know how I, that's how I learn show me and I, I'll learn so but anyway this is if we go to the transaction right there and we're gonna see it see it's gonna say VIP invoice number and it's gonna tell you the amount VIP invoice number it's gonna tell you the amount which is really cool so uh, that's so you can see your transaction here and you can see it on VIP side but anyway let, I want to talk about right now uh, about afterpay what is afterpay and how it works afterpay basically is giving uh, your customers that if their customers don't have the money right now they can use afterpay app afterpay is an app and you can enable that app uh if you have you gotta have score terminal to be able to accept afterpay so step number one you gotta have score terminal if you have score terminal uh, you need to activate afterpay i'm gonna show you how to do so so you're gonna go to uh, right there to the menu scroll all the way down to settings and then account settings and then go to business information and then go to payment methods and right there so if it's not activated you need to activate afterpay so again afterpay like I said is an app and let me talk about it real quick how it works on um, that usually they approve somebody for a thousand dollar and they can if they pay it within six weeks um, there is no interest so the the customer can borrow a thousand dollar and pay a thousand dollar which is really cool so from the customer side as long as he pay it within six weeks he is protected basically it's a free loan on the on the shop owner side there is a catch what is the catch is you gotta pay six percent they charge six percent instead of 2.7 and why is that because it's a convenience fee because now uh, instead of uh, the customer not doing the job and waiting or going somewhere else uh, you can offer this option and now you, he can do the job you make your money and you get your money up front and you don't have to owe the customer money that's one of the uh, things I lost I think three customers they owed me money and once they owed me money they never showed up so if you're having this issue that will help you a lot uh, that will give him a thousand dollar and if they pay it within six, uh, six weeks I believe the, the limit goes up so it's up to them but it's definitely a thousand dollar so if I, if I have a transmission shop, uh, job that I need to do and I wasn't aware of it and only have 300 bucks, it will help in this situation, get a thousand dollar and make payments on it for six, six weeks. Um, uh, for the fee, I would definitely try to charge the customer. Again, I don't know, I'm trying to wrap my head thinking why, uh, why is this harassment? So I don't know if this is what YouTube talking about again. Um, you can charge the customer fee. This is not a scam. It's a there's a lot of gas station charge the, the fee on the, on, the, on, the, on the pump everybody actually recently is charging the fee why because we cannot afford the fee anymore when we're talking about fee credit card fee that it's six percent that's a lot of, that's a lot of money a thousand dollars six percent that's sixty dollars on a thousand 
if it's 2000 that's 120 dollars so yes you can charge the fee uh and and type it in and and let the customer pay that that's a convenience fee anyway so that's how it works i want to show you how that looks like on the phone itself what the customer needs to do on their end so it's really simple they need to go to the app store or google play i believe and they need to search they need to search for afterpay so afterpay is an app it's owned by square so this is what afterpay looks like so that's fine but this is what afterpay looks like it has it has two arrows and basically the customer need to that's how it looks like they need to create an account it's really simple they don't check the credit too so i mean they found a way of they know customer the majority of customers do want to pay their loan everybody want to the majority want to pay but sometimes it's a lot harder so let them handle i mean it's a risk keep in mind when you say six percent why 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 afterpay is charging me six percent well they're taking the risk here what if the customer did not pay them that has nothing to do with you you already get your money up front and and they're taking the risk but obviously i think uh, do are people not gonna pay at some point yes but they can afford the loss instead of you trying to take the loss a huge company can afford the loss instead of uh like small business uh, cannot afford the loss so so with Square Terminal again, let me just recap. Uh, In-person payment, really cool. It looks really nice. You look professional. Uh, that's number one. Uh, text to pay. Uh, let the customer pay from home or even in person. You can send it to his phone. It doesn't matter. Or, or let's say their uncle want to pay. You can change the phone number. Keep in mind and send it to any phone number and uh, the third one is uh after pay after pay if the customer doesn't have money right now he basically can borrow a thousand dollar if he pays it within six weeks he doesn't have to pay interest which is really cool so you borrow a thousand you pay a thousand that's really cool it's better than credit card and that's it i hope this video will not be taken down <laughs> so anyway i appreciate it guys until next time thanks for watching